Hello everyone, thanks for join learn AutoCAD Plan 3D in minutes for this the seventh lesson, the seventh topics. So on how to convert inventor assembly to plan 3D equipment. So that will be the topics that we are going to cover for today. So for today's topic, we need to have at least two software. The first one we need to have inventor and then another one should be plan 3d from your inventor you can use this inventor can do 3d modeling detailed 3d modeling that able to generate the boom okay if you require to create a detailed equipment recommended to use inventor instead of autocad 3d okay the main reason is for the boom purpose so for here after you're done with the 3D modeling, in case uh, if you want to see how I create this one, this one I created using a normal modeling. This one I'm using a tube and pipe, tube and pipe runs. Okay, they will have one features in Inventor can do tube and pipe run, which is you just just need go to Environment tab. Okay, so look for this one tube and pipe. Okay. When you click on this button, you are able to do this kind of things. All the libraries, as you can see here, are included in Inventor. No need to recreate. Okay, while for the structural things, I use this one. Frame. Okay, the frame members or frame design. Okay, so let's go straight away to our topics from Inventor Assembly. How we want to transfer to Plan 3D. So first step, we need to do a simple simplification for our model. Okay. In case you are already familiar with this inventor, what you can do, you can just need to recreate or need create a new model state here. So you just right click and click new model state. Over here, you can also do suppress and unsuppress for specific things. For example, if I want to suppress on this object, so I just need to right click, right click, and then tick suppress. So what happened in this model state, which is the latest one that I already created, are already suppressed the PLC controller. Okay, for this case, also the same. If I want to suppress, just click, right click, and do suppress. So it will hide from this model state view. So the easiest way and the fastest way to transfer or to call, to make your model simplify, so you just need to go to this assemble tab. There will have one button. We we call it as a simplification. By click on this button, you will have option to include and exclude body or features. Okay, so in case I want to exclude some parts by size, so I can just directly click. Okay, this one is uh, exclude component. Whatever that I want to exclude, then I can just directly click and it will automatically exclude from my model, which is this will be the faster way. So after I done with this process and I want to hide all these holes because my model in plan 3d no need to have this kind of hole don't want to see it so what can i do i can just click on this remove features click all it will directly remove all hole in our model so the next step just click on where the file that you want uh, the, the file that you want to save either you want to save in here or you want to create a new file so you just can choose at this bottom area the file type which is a new part file if you want this object this simplified object combined in the current model so you just need to click on this substitute okay it will save directly to here okay so once everything okay just directly hit okay that will be the first step so this will be the result that you will get okay it will take some time to regenerate the model okay so what will be the difference so if you 
go to the model three here. So you will see you only have one object, which is you cannot do any editing unless you are using a direct edit. So now I already removed the hole. Now you cannot see the hole anymore. Okay, and then some of the component. From here, if I plan to convert this object to plant 3D equipment, go to environment tab, click on this beam content. Since this object already simplified, then easy for us to specify where is the location for our pipe connector. So for example, this one, I want to specify the pipe connector location, the first one. So just click on this pipe connector, select face, okay, and then you can just change the direction, okay, flip, change the type or select any type here. So in this case, I just select others, hit apply. So you can repeat into how many connector that you have in your model. So I have for my model, I have total four. So what I do, I just need to change everything here. And then at the back side, I only have one. So just click, click, hit OK. So what if, if I purposely make it wrong here? So I can also just delete and then click again. So for example, in this case, I just change just make it the direction wrong. Okay. So after I done with this step, right? So I believe that they will have three pipe connector in the correct, correct direction, while one more is incorrect one. So what can I do? I can just click export building component, save where, wherever that you want to save. Okay, for example, I want to save on my desktop, V1, save. Okay, it will generate the new model, which is the V1, okay, dot uh, .adsk. So there will have three types of file that we can save from Inventor. The first one is a dot .adsk. The second one is a Revit families, which is dot .rfa. And then the third one is dot .ifc. Okay, so I just try to click again. So just now I save as Revit families. So if I want to change to .adsk, I just need to go to here, change to .adsk. Then save again to my desktop. Okay, this one you need to aware that Plant 3D only able to read dot .adsk file. Okay, so you just need to change the file become to become dot .adsk. So it will take some time to generate the model. Okay, and then what next? Now you can just directly jump into your Plant 3D. From my Plant 3D, go to Home tab. They will have one button on the equipment panel, which have the yellow color inventor icon. So click on this icon. Then what happened? Okay, click on this icon. Then what happened? You can just directly choose any file which in .adsk file type. So just now I save on my desktop. So let's look for my file which is v1 still don't complete yet let me check or oh, still don't complete yet so adsk will take some time so in case you want to save as revit families also use inventor okay for example i want to convert this object this equipment into revit families then just directly use inventor <laughs> Okay, so after I done, I just can direct, directly click on this convert inventor equipment. They will have option that you can convert .adsk. For example, I have one sample file. Click here. Later, I will open the existing one. Okay, so when I click and I want to insert here, just click and insert, choose whatever file, and then you can directly insert anywhere. Okay, depends on the file size actually. So just now I need to check again. Okay, this one already completed. So my plan 3D. Yeah, so this will be the new file, which is .adsk file. 
Okay, very lagging. Okay, depends on how complex that you say. So that's why my suggestion is to reduce as many as you can from your inventory side. Okay, so from here, I want to go to my parts. So which is a sparrow vessel .adsk. So the file size will become around 5 MB. Okay, and just insert to my model. Okay, to my layout here. Okay, after I insert and then it will move a little bit faster. So just now I create in the wrong direction for my nozzle location. Okay, this one, I just can choose whatever item. For example, this one is under miscellaneous equipment. Okay, so now I already done. So in here, I need to make sure that I edit the nozzle because we need to make sure that our size, our type here is tally to our spec. So in this case, I just need to change to inch with a pressure class 300. Why? Because right now I'm using SS 300. Okay, and then the size will be around 12 inch. Okay, in this case, I need to use RF raised face because of this object. They have some step here. Okay, they will have some step here. So just hit and directly can drag to create a pipe. Oh, this one is too big. Okay, so now I just want to go to here. So this one, I try to make it the same one, which is using eight inch, project class 300 RF. So just hit okay and can directly draw the pipe. Okay, well, for the nozzle location that I miss click, so what will happen? It will become something like this. So when I change the look, uh, the change the type. So just choose the type that I require, 10 inch project class 300 RF again. Okay, now I try to draw the pipe. What will happen? It will be in the wrong direction. Okay, so you see that now become in a wrong direction. Right, so how to solve this problem? So we just need to change back the direction. So that's it. Okay, for example, I want to change this one. So what I need to do, just go to here, edit again. Okay, just use the edit symbols. Go to change location change so select on the proper point change control right click center okay and then choose here so now my location already become a correct location so just can directly draw the point done okay that's how we work with inventor assembly to plant 3d equipment right so don't forget to join our next video so in learn AutoCAD, plan 3D in minutes. So see you next time. Right, thank you so much.